I don't think, uh, personally, for the Eggington fight, I don't think, I only had to look at Frank Hugh, as say, again, without going over old ground. I know him so well, I know him his whole life. He wasn't in a good place, mentally, and most certainly physically as well, he wasn't in a good place. Game plan was totally all wrong. Again, nothing to do with the boxing coach, to do with Frankie himself. He knew he cheated away from the gym, probably cut corners, told people he'd done things that he hadn't. Uh, he knew he couldn't move his feet and box to his best of his ability because he had cut corners and you know wasn't, wasn't fit really to move his feet and box. Sam's a good strong lad, but realistically, you know, he should have boxed the ears off Sam. I think they got in my head really, yeah. But, but they, they, uh, I fought his fight. I thought it was a walk in the park, I didn't train properly. I left to wait to the last minute. The front time Frankie uh, Monica's out the window now, at the dark times and the personal issues are now behind him. And so I, you know, I've agreed to work with him now. Frankie's a safe ball and he's what we would call a typical safe ball. He's a counter puncher. As an amateur, he was fantastic. You couldn't hit him. He turned over into the pros, then with the trainers that he was with and people around him, he started holding his feet. He started putting his weight on his front foot, putting his head forward, allowing himself to be hit. By doing that and developing that, it took away all his great attributes. That's basically, I've come on board and I'm taking him back to that. I'm a technical fighter, I think my brain it, and that's the way I should have been boxing, but I wasn't. I was letting them dictate sometimes, the opponents, I wasn't contracting my strengths. So me and Dino about now, that technical work. Going back to what I do best, what won me titles as an amateur, what won me titles as a professional. Worrying about me and what I do. If I turn up and do what I do, I don't have to worry about the opponent. He needs to be exactly where he is in his mind and, and he's happy at the minute. You know, I have his mum or his brother say to me, we haven't seen him as happy for a long time. And that's not down to me. You know, I, I can't take credit for that. That's down to his family life and him personally. I, you know, it was a lot of growing up. I had a few personal problems. Just growing up, maturing, becoming that becoming an adult, really. I needed to uh, just mature a bit more. And I think you now we've got three children now. Like, uh, I had to mature, now I have. Yeah, Sh Shona's no mug. He can be a little bit lazy, and uh, he tries to walk you onto uh, shots, jab, throws a left hook, and then tries to throw a big, heavy right hand, tries to walk you on it. So, you know, them right hands are dangerous against a safe ball. So we've got to watch out for that. I believe Frankie, Frankie does a, a right number on him. I've been on the lookout of Shona for a while. Yeah, yeah I know him very well. He was a WBO number one, I was a WBO number two for years. We both got two opponents, we both fought. I beat them both, he lost to them both. But I'm in good stead for this fight. Now he's about to become second, Birmingham's second only ever world champion, which again is phenomenal when you look at some of the boxes that Birmingham has churned out over the years. And the young crowd's really gonna get behind us and really gonna lift Frankie. And on the 23rd of February, he's about to go and fulfill his destiny and his potential. Listen, to win this world title will only be the start of a new Frankie Gavin, which we've, me and Dean are working on. I mean, I haven't stopped thinking about what I do. I make a lot of mistakes over the last few years with my boxing, so we've got to really, we're ironing them out now, like with seven, eight weeks to go. By the time I do box, I won't even come into contention. I'll just be ready to go out there and do what I used to do. And I'll be crown world champion. Oh, it's massively important. Frankie knows that. It is, as the title says, hence, hence Floyd, the name's been chosen. It's now or never. He's not going to get another chance after this. He knows that. It's now or never, but it's never for him.